god, Beulah, do you want to blow up my phone with your incessant calls? You've been ignoring me, Amanda. That's because I don't want to talk to you, duh. Why don't you want to talk to me? Because I know what you want to ask. You want to know why I did not invite your son to my princess's birthday. Yeah? I'll answer that right away. The party was designed for Kelly's cousins. And since Prince is not related to us by blood, he is considered a stranger and will not be invited to the party. Period. I've said this to you several times, Amanda. Stop calling my son a stranger. Okay, but is he not? I understand why you would go to the CPS to get a child, because of course you can't have babies of your own. <laughs> but of all the children there, you chose a cursed child. Prince is not cursed. He just had a couple of rough stints with really creepy families who made him feel scared and less of himself. That is what Alex and I intend to change. Prince is now our son, and will not have anybody treat him like a piece of trash. <laughs> that boy has been thrown away by four different families and repossessed by the CPS like bad collateral. <laughs> I wouldn't have to treat him like something if he already is. That's enough, Amanda. You have finally crossed your line, and I won't be having any of it anymore. Oh, what could you possibly do to me other than rant like this? <laughs> I don't want anything to do with your son because he is a stranger. What if his crazy real parents show up at my baby's party and make a scene? Who knows how dangerous they are? Alex and I are his real parents, Amanda. No such thing is going to happen. Stop pushing it too hard. It's not a crime that I don't want your son at my event. Stop taking it too seriously already. I simply called to ask you, politely, if you made a mistake by keeping my son off your kid's birthday party invite list. But since you want to have it the hard way, then let me hand it to you. You're also not part of this family, Amanda. Huh? You were bought like a piece of commodity from your parents, who were tired of keeping you under the roof for almost 40 years. You cannot say that to me, Beulah! I'm a legally included and accepted part of this family. Same as my son. It's not the same. If a child is not born naturally within a family, he cannot be considered a part of it. You are the definition of backwardness and prejudice. I don't know what those big words mean, but whatever. I don't want Prince anywhere near my home, and that is that. Gosh. It's not worth anything talking about this with you. I'm gonna call Alex right now and ask him not to help out with your bills or any financial help you might need anymore. You're so ungrateful. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you then. Jack just got a job as project manager of a reputable company. And before you can say Jack Robinson, he's going to be richer than you and Alex can ever be. Let's wait and see. But until then, I never want to see you or your good-for-nothing husband anywhere near me or my family ever again. Oh, come on, Alex. We had an agreement. Huh? Our power just got cut. Okay. That means you did not pay the bills as we agreed. Why would I pay the bills for a younger brother who cannot respect me or get his wife to respect mine? If you cannot be respectful, at least be responsible. Get off your lazy ass and pay your own damn bills. Oh, <laughs> this is about the whole birthday party thing, isn't it? Amanda did not do anything wrong. She was just stating the obvious. What? See, bro, we can't have a stranger over at our house even for a second. Not to talk of a four to five hour long party with other kids in the family. That would be a security breach. Or, don't you think so? I donated the bulk of the money for the party and my child is still not invited? I never expected this from you, Jack. Not after all I've done for you. You've only done what you were obliged to, Alex. Stop making it look like I owe you simply because you helped me out of some bad debts, jeez. I am giving you one last chance, Jack. 
Have Amanda apologize to my wife and put Prince on the invite list for that party. Else what? Oh, for heaven's sake, the boy wants to have fun with his cousin's sister on her birthday. Is that too much to ask? Kelly will never see that bastard as her cousin, Alex. You dare not call my child a bastard. Well, I did, and I will again. Also, you and Beulah are not invited, since you cannot accord us the basic honor of accepting our decision to keep a stranger out of our home. Fine. This foolishness of yours marks the end of any form of relationship between us. There will be no further interactions between your family and mine. I was gonna do that either way. <laughs> Good riddance. Also, I was going to donate the last $500 to the GoFundMe for Kelly's birthday party, but I won't anymore. You don't need to. I told you I just got a good job that pays well. I can pay my own bills now. Good luck getting your bills paid with your fake job. What? You don't know that. I really got a job as a project manager at Wilson Corp. Really? Out of nowhere? <laughs> You've never been good at anything, Jack. Not even lying. What is that supposed to mean? If you had any sense in that thick skull of yours, you'd know that Wilson Corp is the company I work for as a project manager. There is no record of you applying for that position, much less getting hired. Huh? Oh, please don't tell Amanda. She'll divorce me ASAP. <laughs> I don't need to tell her. Your bills and debts will do the talking. Hi, Alex. It's been quite a while. How are you doing? I'm good. And the family? I reckon you still have your little boy. I hope he's getting along well. Um, who is this? Jack? Did I not tell you never to contact me again? Huh? Jack, who's that? Stop pretending. I know it's you. My name is Logan. Logan Smith. Camilla's lawyer? OMG, Logan, I'm so sorry I flipped out at you that way. I honestly thought you were my brother. I can see there's some bad blood between you two. Not to wash my dirty linen out in public or anything, but my brother, Jack, is truly a pain in the behind. Sometimes I wish we never met. <laughs> I know how that can feel. But brothers will always be family, right? I guess. One day I might just hire you to draft a restriction order for him, so that he'll leave my family and me alone. <laughs> yeah, huh. I'll definitely be at your service if it ever comes to that. <laughs> to what do I owe your unprecedented call-in, by the way? You've never texted me personally before. Aunt Camilla is fine, is she not? That is precisely why I called. I suddenly don't feel so good anymore. Please don't tell me anything bad happened to her. I do not mean to be the bearer of bad news, but... <sighs> don't say it. The inevitable came upon us. No. Camilla suddenly passed on last night. What? We were all with her last weekend, were we not? She played with Prince and told us all her usual funny stories about being in love with a war veteran. How could she be dead now? Judging by the way she wrote her will, I would say she knew the end was near. Oh, that can't be true. She was totally healthy two days ago. I spoke with her over the phone. I understand how you feel and I am truly, deeply sorry for your loss. But I actually called to fill you in on her will. Miss Camilla Wilson lived and died without a natural offspring, as you well already know. You were basically her only son, going by how close you were to her, following the passing of your parents all those years ago. You may or may not know that Captain Wilson, her late husband, left a sizable amount of wealth to his wife upon his passing, most of which she failed to spend due to her highly conservative and frugal personality. Why are you telling me all of this, Mr. Logan? I am saying this because you were the only person listed on Miss Wilson's will. What? This can't be. Oh my god. We would have to meet in my office, or wherever you want, really, to discuss this further. 
but Miss Wilson described you in her own words as her deepest consolation, and the only person she had close to a son who could understand her. For this reason, she wants you to have all her landed property, houses and cars, and liquid assets rounding up to just about $10 million in total. Oh my god! I don't know what to say, I, I don't know what to think. And as much as I would want to sympathize with you on the loss of a loved one, I cannot deny that Miss Wilson lived a full, happy life well into old age, and deserved to be blessed with a quiet, healthy departure as she was. That said, I believe congratulations are in order as well. So congratulations, Mr. Alex Ramsey. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Logan. Oh, I'm sorry. I just remembered you don't like calls, so I figured I'd text you instead. Who is this, please? It's me, Amanda. Your sister-in-law. Jack's wife. Oh, you. I thought I blocked your number so you won't be able to bring any of your negative energy around me, or my wife, or my child. Y you did. I had to get a new number for this. Oh, I see. You have enough money to pay your phone bills now, don't you? That's new. No. No, I I'm using a friend's phone. Interesting. I guess I have to block this one too now. No, don't do that! Pay attention to me, please. It's urgent. Don't waste my time. Uh, so, how are you doing? Huh? I just wanted to know how you were faring. Because it's been so long since we last spoke and all. <laughs> you would be wrong to mistake my patience for acceptance, Amanda. I don't like you or your husband. And I don't want to be in any form of communication with both of you for any reason. So if there's a real reason why you called me, please get on with it and make it snappy. Um, okay. <laughs> there's no need for the rush, you know. <laughs> Amanda. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just wanted to apologize for what I did to you all those months ago. Me? <laughs> no, Amanda. You did not do anything to me. You know who you wronged, and that is who you should be apologizing to. I should apologize to Prince, I know. That is why I'm hosting a do-over birthday party for Kelly. What? I just want to show you how sorry I am. And guess what? Prince is invited this time. You and Beulah are invited too. <laughs> it's never too late to make up for old times, right? This is about my newfound wealth, isn't it? Huh? What wealth? Will you stop pretending? I know you know. Uh, uh... Since I received my inheritance, everybody who previously did not care if I was alive or dead has been calling me and trying to make amends. All for some quick bucks. I wasn't shocked to see that you've jumped on the trend, too. You're a millionaire now, okay? Everybody wants to be friends with you, it's normal. But I'm your brother's wife. I don't have to beg to be friends with you. So, just accept my apology and agree to be at Kelly's do-over party this weekend. Also, agree to fund all the expenses, because I don't have any money to do so. And everything will be fine. <laughs> you are just so unhinged and delusional. Thinking that I will accept your silly, opportunistic apology after all the emotional harm you caused my son. Well, we live and we learn, right? What is that even supposed to mean? You're never getting a dime from me. And I never want to hear from you ever again. Oh, come on, Alex. You don't have to be so upset. I've said I'm sorry, have I not? I've even taken the stress of calling vendors and event planners to redo the birthday party that caused all of this problem in the first place. I'm sure this one will be even better than the first. Just forgive us and give us money. I see. This is what this has been about all along. Yes, so what? I know you have 10 million dollars. If you give us a couple of millions, like, say, three, we can manage. Manage? Uh, duh. 
That amount cannot even fund my lifestyle. The least it can do is get Jack out of jail. You know what? I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're just so stupid. I'm gonna block this number right now. And don't bother calling with any other number, because I'll block every last one of them. Alex, don't block me! I need money to survive! Kelly needs your money! Tell that to your lazy-ass husband. Tell Alex to give his brother some money, Beulah. What? I didn't think you'd have the nerve to contact me after all you did, Amanda. I didn't call the chit-chat. I need three million dollars from that inheritance. I'm not the one on the deed, you know. Ask my husband. That dum-dum said he won't be giving us a dime from our money. Your money? <laughs> this lady's crazier than I thought. Whatever belongs to Alex is Jack's also. They're brothers. And what makes you think I'd bother talking to my husband about giving you any money when you constantly insult and abuse us? Because Jack is behind bars, okay? Oh, wow. He tried bypassing the electricity so that he would have more time since he wasn't able to pay the bill. Then the police caught him. He's been in detention for three weeks leaving Kelly and me to suffer all alone. He had that coming at some point. We all have to learn our lessons, don't we? You have all the money you could ever want now. Can you not give us the measly sum of three million dollars? I'm sure you won't feel a thing. I thought you didn't want anything to do with the mother of a cursed child. Oh, Prince is no longer cursed, Beulah. He's the most amazing child in the world. No longer cursed? <laughs> you clearly have an F in apology. You're never getting any favors from my husband or me. You're such a wicked witch! You've moved homes and gotten the life you've always dreamed of. Yet you can't give us some money to pay the vendors we're still owing from Kelly's birthday party. You're evil! Just evil! Huh? I thought you said you needed to get Jack out of jail. Now you're talking about vendors? I need money for both of those things. I already called the vendors for Kelly's do-over party, and I have to pay them for the service they've rendered already. Do-over party? Why would Kelly need that? It's none of your business, witch. Oh my god, Amanda. Just give us some money, or I'll report you to the CPS. I'll tell them you've been maltreating, Prince. They'll take him away from you, you'll see. Thankfully, Prince can speak for himself. He knows we've been nothing but amazing parents to him. Also, if anyone needs to be reported to the authorities, it's definitely going to be you. You need to get urgent help for your madness. I am not mad! <sighs> Whatever. Have fun sorting out your issues without help from us. <laughs> you would think Alex and Beulah made their point abundantly clear. They did not want anything to do with Jack or Amanda. But Amanda clearly did not get the memo and continued to stalk the couple for weeks afterward. She would run into Beulah at the mall acting like a crazy person while chanting and holding up a placard that read, Give us money. It was so disturbing that Alex had to contact Logan. He needed to obtain a court-issued cease and deist order to stop his crazy sister-in-law from making their lives miserable. For a brief period, it seemed like they had found the solution to their problems. But Amanda's obsession knew no bounds. Somehow she came to the crazy conclusion that Alex wouldn't give her any money because she was Jack's wife. So she got a divorce from Jack and continued to demand money from Alex as a random person on the street. Can you tell what came out of this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> In a bid to escape the constant harassment, Alex and Beulah made a bold move. They sold their home and moved to a new, undisclosed location, going completely off the grid. For security, they also changed their contacts. This way, the stocking would cease for good. Moreover, the couple's unreserved love for Prince remained unchanged. If anything, it only grew stronger. Alex and Beulah created a trust fund for him, where most of the inheritance money was stored, thus ensuring his financial future was secure. All of this paid off not long after when Beulah realized she was pregnant. She was shocked and skeptical at first, 
but decided to keep the baby and see how it went. Nine months passed swiftly, and Eula gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby girl. Now their family was even more complete. In the end, the Ramses realized that Prince was their good luck baby. He brought more blessings than they could count, and they would never love him less.